So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the cow catcher. Uh, just like in the past, I'll click on the plus, create part studio. I'm immediately going to rename this part studio one to read cow catcher. Uh, for this part, I'm going to be using the loft tool. I'll create a shape along the bottom and then I'll loft it up to this top shape. So a new sketch on my top. I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to start by doing the bottom shape here. That is 1.8. Um, then it goes up. This 0.25 here. Comes up at an angle. Down a little ways. And I'll come back and I'll put those dimensions in. This number needs to read 0.25. Um, then it's got a 50 degree angle here. All right, to do that, I'll click dimension. Here to here. And I'll do the same on the other side. Alright, so there's our bottom shape. Hit finish sketch. Go to my isometric view. Alright, so now what I want to do is I want to offset this plane up the height of the whole thing. So that's 0.75. I'm going to do a new sketch or a new plane from my original, offsetting 0.75. Alright, you can see what happened. It created that additional plane. I'm going to add a new sketch onto that plane. Look at it from my top view. So I essentially need to make this shape again, but smaller. So I'll draw a line. The length of the top line is 1.2. Um, I've got that, those same numbers. So it goes up 0.25. Comes up at an angle, back down, and right there. Go back and I'll put this at my 0.25. Right, so now I need to do the same 50 degrees. So I click dimension, click this line, click this line, 50, this line, this line, 50. Right, so I've got the same shape. However, you can see that they're not centered. They're not aligned. Right, to align them, I'm going to use the vertical tool, and I'll just simply grab this point and this point, and it snaps them in line with each other. Hit my finished sketch. Go to my isometric view, you can see I've got two planes. I'm going to use my loft tool, loft from here to there. All right, and you can see what I'm left with. All right, next up, if I'm looking at this, it looks like it's shelled out. It's hollow on the inside, it's got a thickness, a wall thickness of 0.10. I'm going to rotate it up, zoom in a little bit here. Um, I'm going to use my shell tool, that's this tool here. My shell thickness again is 0.1, so I'll just leave it be and click on my bottom. Alright, you can see it's been hollowed out. Next up, I'm going to add these three pegs along the back side. To do that, I'll add a new sketch to my back side. Uh, each of the pegs is 0.125, right there. So I add a circle, 0.125, circle, 0.125, and then another one over here. Again, all circles need three dimensions. So for this case, I'm going to dimension, looks like from the bottom, let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, from the center of this circle to the center of this circle is 0.5. So I'm going to dimension this circle to this circle, 0.5. Uh, it looks like 
and then vertically from here, the bottom to the center, it's 0.125, bottom to center, 0.125, right? So I've got it aligned vertically, now I need to go left to right. Uh, from center to center is 1.25. And from center to my middle one is 0.625. Right, so right now these are all, if I move one, they all move together, left and right. Right, they won't move up and down, but they will move left and right, which means I need to center them right in the middle. So to align them, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dimension from the center to the center Right, this entire distance was 1.2, which means that from here to here should be half of 1.2, which is 0.6. Get my finished sketch, go to my isometric view. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that I can clearly extrude each one of these three pegs. All right, my extrude distance is 0.125. Get my finished sketch. Oh, and there it is. Last thing I want to do right here, it says 0 0.01 times 45 degrees. What that means is that it has a chamfer on it, right? It doesn't want, they don't want a tight edge, they want a chamfered or a sloped edge. So I click on chamfer, distance and an angle. My distance is 0 0.01. My angle is 45 degrees, which is already set. And I click on those corners that I want to chamfer. And hit my green check. All right, so you can see that it's giving it that slight slope on there. Uh, last thing I want to do, if you look at the front here, it's kind of cut out, right? So what I'm going to do is do a new sketch on my front, right? I'm going to project this original plane and then I'm going to offset that original plane, go in the other direction and this distance is going to read 0.1. Get my finished sketch, click extrude. Click my piece, you can see what it's doing there. It's adding material, I want to remove material. And the thickness in there is 0 0.05. All right, so there's one side, I'll do it again on this side. New sketch on that face, All right? So on this face, again, I'm gonna project that original surface. I'm going to offset that surface in at, again, 0.1. My finished sketch. Let's see what I'm left with. I'm gonna, I'm going to extrude that surface. Again, removing by 0.05. Zoom out, actually I'll switch to my isometric view here. You can see what I have. I'll go through now and turn off these planes because I no longer need them visible. And there it is, the cow catcher.